and the shot I'm back with a new video for the custom ROMs of Lee One S and this time is the Darkness Redefined ROM which is based on the no code's latest version 7.1.2 and today I'll show you how to flash this ROM without any issues or mistakes so let's get into the video without any further ado so first of all you have to wipe your all data go to advanced wipe and select everything except the internal storage and swipe to wipe and there you go it's done then head back to your internal storage and select the darkness redefined ROM. There you go, it's DND 2.1. So click it and add more zips. So go to the place where you kept the Google Apps and there you go, the 7.1. And by mistake, I click, click the wrong. Yes, there you go, and swap to flash. And now the dar darkness redefined ROM and the G apps are flashing, and it will take more than. 10 to 15 minutes so I'll fast forward the video for you and after the video after the video is start <coughs> and I'll start the video after the ROM, ROM installation is complete so let's wait and watch so guys as you can see the ROM is installed and now it's installing the OpenG apps and I'll recommend you download all the given links given files in the description and uh, I'm not responsible for any software damage that happens to your device if you install if you download the links from any other source so please download all the files given in the description and do let me know in the comment section if you have any query about the ROM about anything related to tech and it will install in some time and it's the Pico version of the G apps as you can see here I always install the Pico version as it has the minimal Google Apps only place to is included in this version you can go ahead and install every other version you can try there are a lot of version like the Nano Pico the stock version which has all the Google Apps like the Google Play Google Music and everything related to Google and it's done installing the device will restart in 5 seconds and there we go please click do not install here every time you put into recovery mode so click do not install and it will boot up in our ROM so there we go so as you all know this ROM will not start in its first take it will take two reboots so let's wait and you'll get to know what I'm talking about uh, so as you can see the logo here the darkness redefined ROM this ROM is pretty much stable and currently if you're using the stock version of stock ROM of Lee One S that is EUI I'll definitely recommend not to go for a custom ROM because the stable the best ROM best uh, version for your device is the stock one and as you saw the device switched off by itself this is what I meant by the dual boot and now you have to press the power key for near about 10 to 15 seconds as I'm doing it and it will reboot into the ROM I don't know why it happens to my device every time I install the custom ROM if it happens to your device too do let me know in the comment sections and this time it will surely boot up into a ROM but it will take a lot of time so let it be let's wait else we fast forward the video and I'll start the video from the time it boots up uh, the phone starts so guys as you can see we are done installing the ROM and or flashing the ROM so let's set up our device and start as a new device if you are not uh, backed up your data so click next and we'll set up a phone later first let's boot it up skip anywhere more 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 and done all set to go and this is the darkness redefined ROM this ROM is pretty much stock 
as it has no bloatware except uh, the Fire app which is a browser I guess which is very fast and very small I guess it's 418 KBs so it has the remote control app pre-installed so that means the remote control the IR blaster works in this device in this ROM and let's check out the camera allow the permission next and and the camera is st starting and you can see let's turn on the flashlight and as you can see the video recording started so the camera is working perfectly fine the hotspot is working the camera is working the fingerprint is working as well let's go to in setting and uh, check out the hotspot so as you can see the hotspot is on so the hotspot is working perfectly fine the, you can also add on screen navigation bar if you want by going into settings the, there is a special section for recents recent bar and as well as a three finger screenshot is also there let's search here navigation bar I guess we have to search in here so hardware keys there we go no it's not hardware keys it's the navigation key okay so the device is working perfectly fine multitasking is good and uh, everything is fine with this ROM so that's it for today's video I hope you like the video and the ROM as well the ROM is pretty stable with minor bugs the camera app stops at times it's not regular but it happens so i thought that it should i should mention so guys that was it for today's video i hope you liked the video and if you did please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe our channel for more such videos and do let me know in the comment section if you have any query and um, see you in the next one till then hey guys it's Arish, signing off